Hey guys, and welcome to the third video in my Python object and class tutorial series. Now in today's video, I'm going to be going over inheritance, and this is an extremely important and a little bit more complicated topic dealing with inheriting attributes and methods from other objects. I just want to start off by quickly saying though, if you guys are finding the video is a bit too slow for you, and uh, I'm kind of explaining things a lot of time. The reason I do that is because I'm not sure the level of person that's gonna be watching the video. And I wanna make sure that the people that will understand quickly can get the information within like the first few minutes. And then the people that really need some extra reinforcement have that opportunity to watch through the entire like 11 or 12 minutes and have it explained to them multiple times. So if you guys are finding it's a bit too slow um, and you wanna move faster, just fast forward the video or skip uh, to the next one if you guys are done with whatever I've been talking about. Cause like in the last video, for example, I watched it back and I kind of explained the, few, uh, the same thing a few times. That's just for the people that need a bit of extra help. And that's kind of what I aim to do with a lot of my videos so that people that need help can, you know, grab that if they want to, okay? So let's get started and I'm just gonna modify this dog class, just delete li, uh, we'll get rid of change age and add weight and we're just gonna have name age and so on like that, okay? And we can get rid of all this stuff down here. Now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to create a new class and I'm going to call this cat. Okay. Now cat is going to have very similar attributes as dog. In fact, let's just copy them over. Okay. So we'll paste them like here. We have name, age, hi, I am, whatever. Okay. Now I'm just going to add one thing. And in this case, I'm going to add, let's see, color. Okay. So self.color is equal to color. Okay, now this cat object is obviously gonna work the same as dog. I don't think I need to show you. Now, just take note of what I just did. I just copied all of the stuff from here into cat. Now, if you know anything about programming, you know that programmers don't like to copy and paste and that you really shouldn't be copying and pasting code. So Python has actually come up with a solution to what I just did that allows us to not have to do that. And that is called inheritance. So I'm gonna delete all this and I'm gonna go back into cat and I'm gonna type dog here. Now what this little bracket up here means is it means parent. So whenever you're talking about inheritance, you always have a parent or a super class and then you have a child or a like derived class, okay? And there's a bunch of different words for them. They're not really that important. Just no parent and child, it's the most basic, okay? So in this case, cat is gonna inherit from dog, which means dog is the parent class and cat is the child class and it is derived, so it's taken from dog. So that means if I do class dog, and if all I do in here is just type one thing, so I type init underscore underscore, and in here I'm just gonna put name, age, and color. And I'm just gonna do something that's gonna look confusing. I'm gonna explain it after, okay? Super dot underscore underscore net underscore underscore underscore. And I give it name, age, and I say self dot color equals color. And then I create a new object of cat. So I'm just gonna say Tim equals cat, give it a name, age, and colors. So in this case, we'll do Tim age five color blue blue cat i know okay so we do that we press play no errors okay i'm just going to show you if i do tim dot speak what do you think is going to happen take a guess it says hi i'm tim and i'm five years old now how the heck does all this work and what did you just do i know that's probably the question you're asking probably fix that to say color so the way this works is when you inherit from another object or another class, sorry, you actually inherit all of the properties and attributes and methods of that class. So when I do Tim.speak, you can see, well, Tim is an object of type cat and cat. Well, I don't see speak here. How does that work? Well, since the speak method belongs already in the dog class and we're inheriting from the dog class, it is actually carried on to the cat class and we're able to use it like that, okay? So Tim.speak. Now what I did here with this super.init, I know this looks confusing, but pretty much in the initialization of cat, which is unique to cat because it has this added um, parameter color, I simply called the initialization of dog first, which means that when I gave it name and I gave it age, it automatically added self.name and self.age to my cat object of Tim. You see how here I didn't type self.name equals name, I didn't type self.age equals age. All I did was call the constructor method or the initialization method of the super class and the super class simply means dog. Um, and it did that for me. 
Now, in this example, it seems like, well, why in the world would you want to do that? Um, that like that doesn't make sense. There's not that many lines, whatever. If you have really long methods and really long classes, it makes a lot of sense to inherit. So in this example, it's hard to show, but in long ones, you do want to inherit. Now, I want to show you that you can add and overload things from the uh, parent class. So for example, the parent class has speak. I'm going to add one more method in here. I'm going to say define, let's just say talk, okay? And in here, it's going to say, print uh, bark because it's a dog okay now obviously in our cat class if we want to talk we don't want to bark right and that's what's going to happen right now if we do tim dot talk it's just going to say bark so if we wanted to change this we can actually overload this or override this method so if i do define talk in here i can print and in here and i'm not going to do bark i'm going to do meow okay like that a little explanation point. So now if I do Tim.talk like this, you can see that we get meow instead of bark. And that goes for anything in inherited classes. Okay. So anything that we do in here is going to override whatever is happening in this dog class. So say we wanted to change speak, we could say define speak in here. And then whatever we put in this speak method would overwrite what's in here. Now that's not to say that it's going to change if you create a dog, dog object. So if I do like, I don't know, let's say Jim is equal to dog, give it a name, give it Jim clearly, age, this is an old dog, we're going to give it 70, okay? And we do Jim.talk, well, we're still going to get, if I spell Jim correctly, bark, right? So we get bark and meow. So we don't actually change anything in this class we just say that well if you create a class ob or if you create a cat object then it's going to have this talk method which overrides the talk method that we created in dog and this is the same if you do something with uh like these attributes so if i do like self dot name and i just statically type in a name like i type uh tech okay uh then when we do tim dot speak now you would think that it's going to get hello I am Tim because that was the name, right? And I am five years old, but instead we're going to get tech. So it says, hi, I am tech and I am five years old. And that is because although we set name up here to be equal to whatever name we type in the in as a argument, uh, we are changing it to tech and that overrides whatever happens in this dog class. Okay. Uh, so I hope that makes sense. Now, what else can we override from those classes? Well, we can inherit like multiple times and we can inherit different classes from upper class. I'm going to talk about the way you would want to do an inheritance. Okay. So the way you typically want to inherit is you want to have one really general class that kind of applies. That's a bit smaller that applies to like a bunch of different classes. So I'm going to delete these and I'm just going to type out them and show you an example of what I mean by general class. So if I created a class and I called it vehicle like that, okay. Is that how you spell vehicle? I don't care. We're just going to leave it like that. Okay. <laughs> and then I created an initialization in here. Okay. And the initialization is going to take like uh, price, uh, gas, and color. Okay. I know these are random, but just, just follow along. Self.price equals price, self.gas equals gas, and self.color equals color. Okay. Now I'm just going to give it a method. I'm going to call it define fill up tank like this. Okay. And what's going to say is self.gas equals, and we're just going to say that each gas tank has a maximum of 100, okay? Let's say define um, empty tank, and this is just going to say self.gas equals zero, and then we're going to say define gas left, and this is simply going to return self.gas, okay? And the reason I have this is because, well, in all vehicles, we're probably going to want to have um gas right all of our vehicles are going to have gas if they're not electric obviously and we're not going to deal with that for now um so fill up tank empty tank and gas left is probably something we want to know for all of our different vehicles now for example if i create another class and i say class car okay and car is going to inherit from vehicle like that okay and all we're going to do for the init is we're just going to call the vehicle init so how we do that is we do super dot underscore underscore init underscore underscore and obviously this needs now a price gas and a color so we're going to pass it price gas 
and color like that. And then that's our initialization. And in car, all we're going to have is we're going to have a method and it's going to call let's mm, actually let's add one more thing here. Speed. Okay. Self dot speed equals speed. Okay. And then here as a method, let's just have like beep. Okay. And all this is going to do is simply print beep beep. Okay. Now I know these aren't great examples, but just follow along. So what we have now is we have the vehicle class. Okay. And it has these things that do with gas and obviously gas is going to work for all of our different types of vehicles. And, and then we create a car class that inherits from vehicle. And in here, all it does is it has an extra attribute called speed and it has a method called beep. Now, if I create another class instead of car, I want to do truck. Now truck is not going to say beep beep. It's going to say honk honk like that. Okay. And instead of having self dot speed, we're going to have self dot tires. Okay. Equals tires because that's a, pr a property that we're going to care about for our trucks because sometimes they get like six tires, 18, you know what I mean? That's what I mean by truck. Okay. So you can see that we have a really general class vehicle that simply has a color, a gas and a price. And obviously within our truck and car class, we're going to care about those attributes. So price, gas, color, but in truck, we care about tires. And when we click beep, we want to say honk honk. And for car, we care about the speed that the car can go. And when we uh, call beep, we want to print beep beep. Okay. So that is an example of where you would use inheritance. I know this is a really small example. A lot of the classes you're going to end up building are going to be like massive and inherit from uh, like other classes. And you're going to have like large files full of classes, but this is the best example I can kind of give you of when inheritance would be useful. And same thing, if I wanted to do like define motorcycle, then you could do the same thing there. And for wheels, you do like self dot wheels equals two, like stuff like that. Okay. So I think I'm going to end the video here. Hopefully you guys have an idea of how inheritance works. One quick thing, if I wanted to, I could inherit from car as well. So if something is inheriting from something, you can also inherit from it. So that would mean that now truck has all the attributes of car and all the attributes of vehicle because well, car has the attributes of vehicle. So since car has it, we're inheriting from car truck is going to get it as well. Just wanted to add that in before we end. Anyways, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe and I will see you again in the next video.